The Oxford Group was a religious organization founded by an American missionary named Frank Buckman. It was his belief that all of life's problems stemmed from fear and selfishness. He further believed that a person could relieve himself of fear and selfishness by surrendering his will and his life to God's divine plan. In 1921, he founded what was called a First Century Christian Fellowship. In 1929, it became known as the Oxford Group and enjoyed wide popularity in the 1930s. In 1938, the Oxford Group underwent another name change, calling itself Moral Rearmament. In 2001, it was renamed Initiatives of Change. Today, it works to build trust among people of all nations and cultures. Back in the 1930s, while it was still known as the Oxford Group, a man named Roland Hazard became one of its members. He attended services at Calvary Episcopal Church in New York City, which was the United States headquarters of the Oxford Group. Roland Hazard had been a chronic alcoholic who had sought treatment in Europe from the celebrated psychiatrist Carl Jung. His story is told on pages 26, 27, and 28 of the AA Big Book. When Carl Jung was unable to treat Roland Hazard's alcoholism, he returned to America. However, when Roland Hazard joined the Oxford Group and turned his life and his will over to God, as the Oxford Group suggested, he found that he no longer needed to drink. His obsession with alcohol had been removed. Roland Hazard then tried to help another alcoholic named Debbie Thatcher. Ebby, for a time, was also able to stop drinking. Once relieved of his obsession to drink, Ebby Thatcher brought the message of recovery to Bill Wilson, the founder of AA. At the time of Bill Wilson's recovery, the pastor of Calvary Episcopal Church, the headquarters of the Oxford Group in America, was an Episcopalian minister named Sam Shoemaker. Early in his recovery, Bill Wilson involved himself with the Oxford Group at Calvary Episcopal Church and was influenced by Sam Shoemaker, its leader. In the decades that followed, Bill Wilson repeatedly credited the Oxford Group for its role in the formation of AA. The principles set forth by the Oxford Group are incorporated in the 12 steps of AA. So, did AA actually originate with the Oxford Group? No, AA was founded by Bill Wilson and Dr. Bob Smith in 1935 in Akron, Ohio. But the Oxford Group was instrumental in leading them toward that endeavor. Bill Wilson and Dr. Bob Smith, together with the fellowship they gathered around them, created a unique program of recovery that has transformed the lives of millions of alcoholics. AA is unique in that regard. AA has succeeded where other attempts to treat alcoholism have not. And it has withstood the test of time. Where other programs of recovery have fallen by the wayside, AA continues to thrive and grow. In fact, Alcoholics Anonymous has been in existence for nearly a century.